It's the Let's Go, Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Kanye West. He said, not so fast, TMZ. <laughs> uh, big report yesterday about Kanye West possibly heading to a divorce uh, with his wife, Bianca Sensory. Well, they got wind of those reports and they decided to respond by... Uh, going shopping together at a mall in Tokyo, KJ. This yeah. is this is how they responded to these rumors. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's video, there's photos, and they're in matching outfits. And at one point, you can see Bianca. They're like all close and snuggled up. She like grabs that man's face. I mean, if you're wearing uh uh you know matching white outfits and you're grabbing somebody's face like that, does that does that seem like you're getting divorced, KJ? It definitely does not seem like a divorce <laughs> at all. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. But if there's one thing we know about Kanye, he changes his mind a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, so maybe, maybe in the past uh, several weeks where they haven't been together, maybe he thought he was getting divorced and then he changed his mind. It could be like, you know, what he does with albums. He says, I'm going to drop an album and then he keeps pushing it back. <laughs> maybe he's pushing back the divorce. <laughs> yeah, he got to be. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. We hope not. We wish him well. We hope this uh, marriage works out. But for now, it seems like they're all good. And maybe her family's coming around to Kanye, too, because, uh, you know, a fan site uh, posted, uh, you know, the videos of, of them shopping together. And it looks like her mom uh, liked the picture and even put a little heart as a comment underneath it. So maybe her family's starting to come around, too. At least the mom, as far as uh, supporting uh, Bianca and Kanye's relationship. So for this week, or shoot, even for today, they're not divorced. <laughs> We'll just say for today, they're yeah. not getting divorced. <laughs> just say for today. You never know with Kanye. Uh, let's talk about another couple, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. A lot of people are wondering what's going on. Taylor hasn't showed up to any of Travis's games lately. Well, she showed up for Monday Night Football, so they're still going strong, and she was rocking these uh, glitter freckles, but not just any type of glitter. You could call those billion-dollar glitter freckles because, yes, Taylor Swift has now become the richest female musician with a net worth of $1.6 billion, uh, passing Rihanna, who's not doing so bad either, $1.4 billion. I, I, would, I would take that. I would yeah. take second place. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely would take second place. <laughs> uh, of course, Taylor has earned all this money uh, mostly from her music catalog, including $600 million from touring and royalties and $600 million from her catalog and $125 million in real estate holdings. So congratulations, Taylor Swift, and uh, congratulations, Travis Kelsey. <laughs> it, it, it is a billion dollar in his billionaire girlfriend era. I mean, his fantasy numbers may be down, but his price keeps going up, KJ. Facts. <laughs> uh, someone that's going down, Drake. It's an end of an era for Drake. Drake's streak of charting on the Billboard Hot 100 has ended. As of right now, there are zero Drake songs or features on Billboard's Hot 100 this week. Which ends Drake's streak of charting every week since April of 2022. Man, that that's that's shocking, KJ. Yeah, I, I mean, it's shocking that that he has no features on the Billboard Hot 100 because that's that's like normally like his his go to as yeah. far as being on the Billboard Hot 100. He always got a hot feature, even when he's not dropping his own uh, solo singles. You know what I'm saying? So it's strange for him though. But see, we always we also have to look at it as, as uh, you know the standard that Drake has set for himself. When it comes to charting, it's strange for him, but other artists, they don't be on there all the time. <laughs> Drake, Drake, what Drake be doing is like different than everybody else. I mean, to have a song on there for over two years, is still a pretty crazy accomplishment. But I'm sure the Drake haters are, are, are eating it up today. Oh, yeah, you know they are. <laughs> Speaking of, Kendrick Lamar. Apparently, he turned down headlining Coachella this year because he plans on going on his own stadium tour after the Super Bowl, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, you can't perform at the Super Bowl and not have something after it. You know yeah. what I mean? Everyone announces something big that they're doing right after uh, the Super Bowl performance. So he plans on going on a stadium tour, which will be his first stadium tour. I mean, that, that, that means this Super Bowl show has to be epic, KJ. It has to be epic if he if he's going to take on stadiums. You got to have confidence that you're going to sell out stadiums. So many seats in stadiums. But now's the time to do it. And a lot of people are talking about his new album, which is on the way. 
Uh, yeah, he got to drop that like after the Super Bowl as well. Like, you can't waste the Super Bowl opportunity. Maybe we'll get some singles before the year ends, but my guess is that he'll probably drop that new album uh, and announce the stadium tour right around the Super Bowl. What do you think? I think so. He, yeah. he has to have something big coming. Yeah, yeah. You got to just, you know, make everyone forget about, you know, uh, Lil Wayne not performing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to Celebrity Nonsense with me, Esco. Let's go. Make sure you follow my podcast and uh, check out my YouTube channel. You can subscribe. It's the same. E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. Esco, let's go.